All right. Welcome everybody to this Sunday, beautiful Sunday. Bring a nice smile to your face. And uh, this is a special class celebrating Vasant Panchmi, invoking Saraswati within our own self. And Saraswati, as I send the picture, the symbolism is the symbol of knowledge and art. So let's talk about knowledge a bit. You can just focus on your breath while I'm talking and just listen to me. You can keep your eyes closed or open, doesn't matter. So there's something called true knowledge or the reality or absolute truth. And it may sound like something esoteric, like out of this world or going beyond our understanding that there's only one consciousness and all beings are only a manifestation of that one consciousness. And it's called Atma, Ishwar, Bhagwan, whatever you can call it but it's really hard to perceive that. So there's something called perceived knowledge or apparent reality or perceived truth, like the sun going down. And if you know the sun doesn't go down, it's the earth that moves, right? Similarly, a friend or relative may appear to be nice, but could be thinking very nasty things about you, correct? That's perceived reality. Likewise, someone may appear to be tough and bad, but actually, they're thinking good about you. And the best example is parent of a teenager, right? <laughs> sometimes they have totally wrong notion about the parent. Or sometimes people think that yoga and meditation is useless. Why to spend time on this? I'm happier browsing my social media. That's also perceived truth. That's not real truth. I've also come across people who are so troubled in their life. They just want to leave everything or die after they're done with their responsibility. Hmm? Then the third type of knowledge is called practical knowledge, like how to behave, how to respond to a situation. So more you are aware of the true knowledge, okay? We call it Atmic Gyan or the absolute reality. The more practical your life becomes. Why? Because you'll be aware how to behave in practical life, how to respond. And also you'll, be, you'll have discernment between the perceived reality and what is not real, right? So... Now, how to reach the true knowledge? Yoga has a very practical approach. Yoga says, whatever is in your experience right now is your knowledge, okay? So I'll give you a metaphor of a pole jumping. <clears throat> you, everybody has seen that uh, athlete in a, um, taking a pole, running, and then putting a pole at one spot, and then raising to the height, and then leaving the pole and jumping on the other side, right? That's pole jumping in Olympics. Similarly, Yoga says, what you know, start with that. So if somebody has a really bad knee or a bad back pain, you cannot tell that person, oh, you're not your body. That's not practical. So what do you do? Tell that person, start working on your body. That's how yoga starts. You start working on your body. If somebody is really in a lot of stress or anxiety, you cannot tell that person, oh, don't worry about your mind. Just forget about it. It doesn't happen practically. In fact, they'll run away from you if you give this kind of advice to them. So what do you say? You work on your mind. These are the practices like pranayam or meditation, right? Similarly, like a pole jumping, you use your body and a mind as a tool to improve your energy so much, so much that at one time, at one point, you're dissociated with your body and mind. And that's the point the athlete leaves the pole, basically dissociates with the body and the mind and jumps on the other side. That means you go beyond intellect and land at a place which is called moksha. Moksha simply means freedom, freedom from the pains of your body, freedom from the pain of your mind, to know that absolute re reality. And Saraswati being the symbolism of that reality, today we are going to sit in a seat of meditation, invoking and pleading as a child pleads to a mother, give me ice cream. We are going to sit with that bhav, with that feeling that this practice of yoga takes us towards that knowledge, the real knowledge, okay? So just sit in the Dhyan Mudra, keep your eyes closed and focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Bring your attention to your nostrils. Feel the cool in-breath and the warm out-breath. And make sure when you're breathing out, you pull your stomach in a little bit so that you can inhale with a good tummy expansion. Just be with your breath. I'll do five rounds of chanting of a Saraswati Vandana. It's very simple. 
and you can coordinate either you can chant along once you know the lyrics or you can just coordinate your breath with each line of the mantra okay so for now just inhale and exhale observe your posture that you're sitting equally on both the sides your legs are comfortable spine comfortably erect chin parallel to the floor and tongue very lightly touching the upper palate behind the upper set of teeth jaws unclenched and feel the tension melting away from your face. Eyes are loosely staring in front of your closed eyes. Just be in a steady, comfortable posture and breathe. Inhale deep, exhale deep. With each inhalation, your tummy goes out. With exhalation, your tummy contracts, pull it in a little bit. <laughs> I'll start, start the chanting. You can listen once and you can repeat it. We'll do it five rounds in total. He Saraswati, He Bhagavati, He Saraswati. हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा लास्ट राउंड हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा सिट इन साइलेंस आई चांट इट ट्वाइस जस्ट लिसन टू द वाइब्रेशंस ऑफ द मंत्र and just focus on your breath he saraswati he bhagavati he saraswati he bhagavati he vinavadani ma he vinavadani ma मेरे मन को ज्ञान प्रधान करो मेरे मन को ज्ञान प्रधान करो हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे सरस्वती हे भगवती हे वीणावादिनी मा हे वीणावादिनी मा जस्ट सिट इन साइलेंस फॉर नेक्स्ट थर्टी सेकेंड्स लेट द वाइब्रेशंस ऑफ द साउंड गेट एब्सॉर्ब इनटू योर बॉडी एंड योर माइंड Inhale and exhale.
Now let's start the alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhan or Analom Vilom Pranayam with your right hand thumb closing the right nostril. Hand in Vishnu Mudra, first two th fingers bent. First exhale out through the left. Empty your lungs and then inhale through the left. With your ring finger, close the left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right, exhale through the left. That's one cycle. Keep doing that. Inhale and exhale alternately. Feeling the temperature and sensation of air entry and exit. All the time, your focus should be on your breath at the level of your nostrils, nowhere else. Make sure you don't hear the sound of your breath. It should be so subtle. Then only it becomes meditative practice. It should be slow, smooth and gentle without making any noise of your breath. Inhale deep and exhale deep. Feel the cool in-breath inside your nostril for as far as you can. And then breathe in deep and exhale out deep, empty totally as you breathe out. But make sure you're not putting a lot of effort into it. It should be like effortless breathing. This is very good for stress, anxiety, balances your brain and relaxes you completely. We'll do it for one more minute. Keep going. Make sure your chin is still parallel to the floor, your neck and spine in straight line. Thirty more seconds, keep going. You can finish off your cycle and just sit in silence. Take a couple of normal breath cycles. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now let's start Kapal Bhati Priya, the tummy contractions. So you can do one second, one contraction. People having high blood pressure, do it very slowly. People having any hernia, also do it slowly. This is contraindicated for people who is having any, had any recent abdominal surgery. So that's Samanya Gati, one second, one contraction, normal speed. One second, two contractions, Madhyam Gati, medium speed. And then Tivra Gati, one second, four contractions. You can choose your speed. If you're a beginner, just use the first or second speed. And if you lose that breath energy, the traction, you can just stop doing it. Take a couple of normal breaths and start the cycle again. You don't have to focus on inhalation. You just have to focus on exhalation. The in-breath happens naturally. Keep going. If you get tired, just take a break, but start the cycle again. We'll do it for one more minute.
<laughs> you can finish off your cycle and just take a couple of normal breath cycles. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Next we'll do Bhastrika. You can open your eyes with a nice smile. We'll make a loose fist, thumb inside and Bhastrika so the palm facing towards the towards me palm facing not like this like this okay and then inhale and go up open your fingers exhale come down so inhale exhale inhale exhale you can do slow or fast it's totally up to you we'll do it for 20 counts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Close your eyes, put your hands on your thighs and feel the energy rising in the upper part of the body. Inhale and exhale deep. We'll do one more set of Bhastrika. 20 counts. Let's begin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, 10, keep going, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Close your eyes, put your hands on your lap and feel that energy rising again. Get ready for some movement. All right, open your eyes with a nice smile. Welcome everybody. Let's do some small movements of our hands and neck, okay? So we'll do that neural flossing we did some classes back. So as you inhale, spread your hands across, squeeze your shoulder blade, take your fingers out and look up. Inhale and then exhale, chin to the chest and bend down a little bit. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Put your hands on the lap, right ear to the right shoulder, and then left ear to the left shoulder. Just go side to side. Inhale and exhale. One breath, one movement. You can also close your eyes for greater body mind connection. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now put your hands like this all the way. And then inhale and exhale, turn back. Put your right hand on your left knee and twist back. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist on the other side. Inhale and exhale for three. Keep looking back. Two and one. One more time. Inhale, exhale, hold. Feel the twist in the spine. We're going to do a lot of twisting movement today. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Relax your legs. Take your legs in front, ankle in front, and then just do simple ankle movement up and down. Inhale and exhale with each movement. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, stretch it fully. Stretch all the muscles of your ankle fully. And then move your ankle round and round, full circle. Five times in one direction, five times in the opposite direction. Feel the muscles of your ankle and feet. Inhale and exhale. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale. Very good. Lift your right knee up this way, hold it here under and just do kicking movement up and down just to mobilize our lower extremities. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, good. From here, take your right foot and take it on the opposite side of the left knee. Spine straight, spine straight. Okay, hold this knee, hug, it, hug your knee, hold this knee and take this arm up, right arm up, inhale and drop it back side and look behind and hold. Keep pulling your right knee towards your chest. Okay, keep pulling your right knee towards your chest. Keep pulling and breathe. Feel your breath at the lower rib cage. 
Breathe against the resistance of your right thigh. Inhale and exhale for three, two, one. Gently release. Just shake your legs off a little bit and let it rest. Let's do our left side. So just do simple kicking movements up and down to get our knee and hip mobilized. Keep smiling, keep feeling the tightness of your body. And then land your left ankle on the right side of the right knee. Hug your left knee. So pull it towards your chest, spine straight. Inhale, left arm up. Swing it to the back. Plant it here and twist. Look at your right fingertips and breathe. Inhale and exhale. For three, two, and one. Gently release. Let's do butterfly. <clears throat> Adjust your buttocks and just flap your wings. Do whatever you can. Inhale and exhale. Keep your shoulders relaxed. I don't want to elevate the shoulder like this or holding this tight. Just hold it gently. Relax your shoulders. Spine absolutely straight. And feel the tightness in the inner thigh muscles. Okay. Two more deep breaths and allowed in this position. And then stop flapping. Just hand in the heart center. Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Twist to the right side and go down on your right thigh. See if you can go on down on your right thigh for as much as possible. Don't lift your left buttock up. If it's lifting up, just stay here. If you cannot go all the way down, just stay wherever you can. Hold that position for three, two, and gently come up. Hands in the heart center. Take one deep breath in and out in this position. Now inhale up again. <clears throat> Twist your body to the left side. Okay, and then go down on the left thigh for as deep as possible without lifting your right thigh or the hip or the knee. How far can you go? Hold that position. If you cannot go all the way down, hold wherever you can and breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale for three, two, one. Gently come back to the center. Just shake your legs, shake your legs. Put your hand on this side. And then keep your heels closer to your body and then drop your heel uh, legs to one side. Hold that position. Look towards your opposite side. Feel a nice stretch in your shoulder and the lower back. Even your biceps are stretching this way. Make sure your fingers are pointing in the front. Inhale and exhale for three, two, one. Come back to the center and drop the knees to the opposite side and look on the other side. Inhale and exhale, get comfortable in the posture. Don't hold your lower extremity tight. Just let it drop with the gravity. Hold that position for three, two, one. Come back to the center and let's sit in Vajrasan. Let's sit in Vajrasan. <clears throat> then inhale. And as you exit, turn towards your right side again. And then see if you can go down this side, this way, without compromising again your position of seat. See how far can you go. Keep stretching your left shoulder blade down, 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 as far as you can go. Just rest. And breathe for three, two, one. And then come back up. Twist your body to the left side. And then go down on the left side without compromising your seat a lot. So your buttock should not be moving a lot. Hold that position for three counts. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Come back to the neutral position. Let's go into Marjriyasan, our cat position. And stay here. So your shoulder, elbow, and wrist in one line, and your hip and knee in one line, okay? So let's mobilize the spine a little bit. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to the chest, round your back. Stretch your shoulder blade. Inhale, look up. Chin to the chest as you exhale and round your back. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Much more. Last time. Inhale up. Inhale down. Good. Come back to neutral position. Now lift your left leg up, out, and parallel to the floor. Okay? Parallel to the floor. Hold that position. Now take your leg away from your body. Away. Making it parallel. Keep it away and then back again. So swing it from side to side. Making, make sure your knee is completely tight. Swing it from side to side. Five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Keep lifting it up. Two. And one. Come back to neutral. Take one deep breath in this position. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now the left side up. Hold it tight. Okay, take it away from the body. Take it towards the body. Out and in. Feel a sharp pressure at the buttock area. If you're doing it right, keep your leg and knee in one line. Three, four, and five. Down, relax. Take one deep breath in this position. Lift your left leg up again, and this time right hand also. Okay. Right hand also. Inhale, take it up further. Exhale, knee to the elbow. Again, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very good. The other side. Right leg and left hand. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Take two normal breaths in this position. Inhale and exhale. Feel the changes. And then tuck your toes under. Come back to our first Parvatasana. Lift your bum up. Go into Triangle pose and pedal your heels. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now gently walk to the top of your mat. Inch by inch, gradually touch your shin bone, touch your knees, slow and steady. Come to a standing position. And stand in Shikil Tadasan, which is Resting pose, equanimous pose. Release your toes. Feel the changes within your body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Have shoulder width gap between your legs. Take your right hand up. Inhale and bend on the left side. Make a crescent of your body and hold that position. Make sure your neck is not hurting and your biceps are touching your right ear, right biceps. Hold that position. Feel a nice stretch and breathe in here at this position. Feel your lungs at this level. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale. Three. Keep going down. Keep going down if you can. Two and one. Come back to neutral. Inhale and exhale. And then let's do on the left side. Inhale, arm up, left arm up. Bend on the right side. Hold that position. Palm parallel to the floor. And this hand is just loosely touching your knee or your shin bone. Hold that position. Feel the breath at this level in your chest. You can also feel and touch and feel the expansion of your lungs, your lower rib cage. Two. And one, gently. Come back. Then put your hands here. Go all the way back as far as you can. And then go all the way down. You're just doing some gross movements of a spine. Inhale up. Exhale down slowly. Very slow. Inhale up. Stretch fully back as far as you can go. And forward bending. Good. 
Gently come back to neutral position. Put your hand here again. Legs, feet, shoulder width apart and just twisting on the spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again, put your hand out, stretch this way. We'll go sideways. Okay, this way. One, two, just warming up our spine, doing some fast movements. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, spread your legs a little bit more. Bend your right knee, put your hand on the th right thigh, and then just go in this pose here, arms across, hold that position. Hold that position. Inhale and exhale, release your right toes. Don't dig your right toes too much into the ground. Now this top hand goes down this way and the back hand, adjust your leg, goes behind. Parivratti Konasan and look back, hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to standing and just rest. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now on the left side, bend your left knee, have a nice gap between your legs. Bend your left knee and put your left arm on your left thigh. Arms go across the right arm, parallel to the floor, hold that position and slightly rotate your body up so that you're not forward bending like this. So your chest is open. Okay, your chest is open and look up. Hold that position for three, two, one. Now right hand plants down, left hand goes up, adjust your back leg that you can twist and look up for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to standing equanimous pose. Have a little gap between your legs. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Feel your body. Feel the changes within your body. Release your toes. The nice smile, open your eyes, hand in Namaskar Mudra again. Inhale, as you exhale, come to Goddess Pose. This position, hold that position. Tummy tucked in, bum contracted. And then inhale again. As you exhale, twist on one side so that your palms are facing totally on this side. Release your toes. Hold that position for three. Feel the stretch wherever you're feeling, your thigh, low back, shoulder, Wherever you're feeling, feel your body. Come back to neutral. Stand up and in Namaskar position. Take one deep breath in and out. Again, inhale, come to goddess pose. Exhale, stay here. Come next in here. And then exhale, twist. Twist and hold. Feel the burning sensation in your thigh, knee, maybe your spine. Hold that position for three, two, one. Come back to neutral and then stand up. Legs together, hands by the side. Feel your body. Eyes closed. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now bring hands back to Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, take it up. As you exhale, come to Utkatasan chair pose. Hold that position. Inhale and exhale. And then after your next inhale, twist right elbow to the left knee and look up. Hold that position. Breathe. For three, two, one. Come back to neutral and stand up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale. 
We go on the opposite side. Utkatasan first. Sit back on your chair, imaginary chair. And then twist left elbow to the right knee and look up. Hold that position for three, two, one. And gently stand up. Send love to all that, both the knees. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Feel your heartbeat. See if you can feel your heartbeat. What you have done can also be counted as a cardio, holding sustained posture. Make sure you don't dig your toes too deeply into the ground. Just feel your body parts. Take another inhale, take your arms up. And exhale, go all the way down onto your toes. Onto your toes. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now have a gap between the legs. This way, we did this yesterday also. We're going to practice that. So take your right leg out. Okay, put one hand on the thigh and see if you can release the other hand. You can also drop this leg for added balance and then you can release, keeping your spine in neutral position, straight. Contracting your belly, contracting your perineal muscles. Hold everything towards the center. Hold, hold, hold. If you're good with this balance, you can also adopt Namaskar Mudra here on top. If not, you can stay wherever your body allows you to do. But smile. And then release. Put your hands here and then let's take the other leg out. Okay, hold that position. You can drop your toes for added balance and then put both hands on the thighs. And if possible, you can adopt a Namaskar Mudra here or here, if your body allows that. Otherwise, you can keep holding the ground or your thigh. Hold that position, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Steadiness of the posture brings the steadiness of the mind. One more deep breath in and out and then gently release. Come back to the ground, relax your knees. Just move it from side to side or up and down. And then gently lie down. Everybody lie down. Bend your hips and knees. And let's do some cycling for 20 counts, okay? Just simple cycling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, eighteen, 15, and 20. Now lift both the legs up. Pull that position, move your ankle up and down. Very good for sluggish circulation or just generally swelling in the ankle or feet. <clears throat> up and down, knees tight, hold that position. Put your left leg down and the right leg, twist it on the opposite side with your hands at the T position. Twist all the way to the ground, your right knee on the opposite side and look on your right side. Hold that position for three, two, one. Gently take it back. Do the same thing with your left side. Left leg up and then goes to the other side as far as you can. If you can drop all the way down, that'll be great. Pull that hand in the T position. Look on the left side. Look at your left palm. Feel the twist in the lower half of the spine. Keep your leg relaxed. Don't hold any body part tight. Let it fall with the gravity. Come back to the center. Bend your hip and knee again. Put your hands by the side, heel as close to the butt. And then lift your buttocks up as far as possible. Hold. Hold. Hold that position. And inhale and exhale for three two and one gently release release everything to the ground and then inhale take your arms up stretch your body in opposite direction so inhale tighten your body 
Exhale, Dhanasan. Again, inhale, stretch, tighten your new thighs, abdominal muscles, and then release. One more time. Inhale, stretch your body in opposite directions. And come back into a final pose of Shavasana with your palms away from your body, facing up. One feet distance between the legs and the toes pointing on the side. This is the final pose. And focus on your breath at the level of your stomach. Stay in this position, keeping your eyes closed, focusing on your breath and just listen to my instructions. We'll go into a deep relaxation technique, Yoga Nidra. Just keep focusing on the breathing at the level of your stomach. Just inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Repeat a sankalpa. Sankalpa is any short positive statement for your own growth. Repeat it in your mind three times. This is a promise given to your own self, a promise given to your breath, which always fructifies and gives you the energy to keep coming back to your mat. Inhale and exhale. Feel the gratitude for the moment. Bring awareness to your right hand thumb first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, right shoulder, right side of the chest, going down the waist, right hip, thigh, knee, shin bone, ankle, entire right foot. Visualize entire right foot and all five toes together. Take another deep breath in and out. This is the most important part of the class, the deep relaxation technique. Now bring your attention to your left hand thumb. First finger second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left side of the chest, going down the waist, left hip, thigh, knee, shin bone, ankle, entire left foot. Visualize your left foot along with your five toes. Now bring awareness to both feet together with all 10 toes. Say thank you to your feet to take all the weight. Bring awareness to both legs together, the pillars of our body helping us go from point A to B. When we do our duties in daily life, going from one place to another. Take a deep breath in, expand your tummy. Say thank you to all the internal organs for giving you the energy through the digestion and assimilation of food. Bring awareness to your heart center Inhale, expand your chest and say thank you to your heart and lungs for working for us relentlessly since our birth. Bring awareness to your throat center and promise yourself that you'll speak your truth but with compassion only when necessary. Bring attention to your chin, lower lip, upper lip, 
the contact point of two lips the gateway of a sound energy more regulated this gate is more balanced our mind is make sure you part your lips to make that sound only to help somebody not to criticize or harm somebody bring awareness to your right cheek left cheek nose right eye left eye forehead center now look in front of your closed eyes create an image for your own self 5 years from today how do you want to see yourself first give your age the number you will be at that age how do you want to look how do you want to feel how much energy do you want to have at that age and how will you use this tool your body and your mind to give your energy to others what will you do will you just use this body and mind to take care of your just your responsibilities or will you use this body and mind to help a, around everybody around you how do you want to spread your energy through this body and mind think about it <clears throat> Take another deep breath in and out and bring awareness to the back of your head touching the mat feel the weight of your head on the mat Feel your right shoulder blade feel your left shoulder blade feel your low back feel the touch of your right buttock left buttock right thigh right calf left thigh left calf right heel left heel feel the contact points that your body is making with the mat simultaneously the entire body touching the mat from your head to your toes feel the weight of your body on the surface feel that your body is getting heavier with each out breath inculcate the feeling of heaviness within your body just letting go surrendering to the mat as a child submits to a mother's lap complete let go no holding back your body has become an unmoving piece like a log of wood yet you are aware of it just be here and now feeling the weight of your body feeling the touch of your body on the ground feeling the heaviness in your body moment to moment breath after breath you're just here and now gently wiggle your toes and your fingers get some movement in your neck move it side to side and by gently bending your hips and knees turn to your right side right side lying position make a pillow out of your right arm and stay in this side lying position 
for a few breath cycles, observing your breath at the level of your stomach. Feel the movement of your tummy going in and out, in and out. See how natural breathing happens when your mind is completely relaxed. You don't have to put any effort in breathing now. And this type of shanti or the peace doesn't come from anywhere else outside, but just by connecting within. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. If you wish, you can stay in this position or you can come to a sitting position gently, very gently get up. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra. Keeping your eyes closed, focus on your nostril breath. And repeating this mentally. I thank myself for coming here to invest some time for my body and my mind. No matter how much I get busy in life, I'll make sure that I find time for self-care. And I feel blessed to have this opportunity given to me by universe, this moment given to me. We'll finish with three ohms, so inhale. Oh. your hands together, generate some heat, the energy from your practice. When your hands are sufficiently warm, you can just press your eyes gently and see the depth within. Rub your face, rub your neck, your chest, your thighs and legs, and then hand, lower back, touch each and every part of your body and feel the energy transfer. Thank you so much for being with me today. Namaste.